Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and as it turns out, I actually left off Night in the Woods rather close to the end the last time I was playing this game. So I'm going to complete, apparently, the last night of the, or the last day of the game Night in the Woods tonight before moving into Slime Rancher because I really enjoyed playing it the other day completely unexpectedly. I'm probably going to get started in a couple of minutes that I was just printing something and I'm trying to fix it up real quick. I was made to get a little piece out of there. Let me see about that. Let me switch real quick so we can get over here. Maybe get a little closer view of what I'm attempting to print over here. I actually recently, you know what, I'll like pull this on camera, actually. I went to the thrift store the other day with my fiance for our anniversary and I managed to find a perfectly good, can I get this in frame? A perfectly good tripod at the thrift store for like $4. And I'm like, absolutely. I'm gonna purchase myself a tripod. Here's the problem though. The little, don't ignore the plastic bag. The plastic bag is to remind me that I need to drop off plastic bags at Target. It doesn't come with like a little, little stand for your camera. So I was like, maybe I can print one of these bad boys. Um, try not to mess anything up over here. Um, but I tried to print something just before and it just finished. Um, it's too big. Or, or rather, it, the, the little, the width in between is too big. Also, there were some sp supports that are in there that kind of got stuck. The, uh, apparently the tree supports are now out of like beta. And I've been using them for pretty much everything. I'm just trying to get this. There's a little piece in there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it is like flopping around. I just want to get that out real quick before I get things started over here because I'm going to do a little more testing with this tripod afterwards. Because I was excited. I got it for such a sweet deal and thought, oh my god, I have to put this to use right away. And I managed to, Jerry, you might have noticed when I put it up on the camera, I actually managed to get my phone attached to it. Um, despite the fact that there's no space for a camera on there or no proper receptacle for a camera on there. Oh, there goes a piece. Perfect, perfect. Uh, try to get this other one out of here. I'm gonna spend like another minute or two on this at most. As I try to finagle this out of there. It's like, so it's a tree support, right? So anytime you have overhanging edges, like a circle or um, a roof, it basically creates a tree from the bottom of the plate up and then it branches into the place where it would usually be over overhanging. And it's really, really cool. And it's worked for pretty much everything. And I'm just trying to get this piece out of here. It's a very thick branch and I can't like torque it out of way. Oh, there we go. I was just saying how I couldn't torque it, but I managed to torque it. Torque, torque like physics torque, not torque isn't torque. But now you can see right through that. Perfect. Um, it still isn't the right size, but it should give me a base for when I print something a little bit differently. I didn't design that one. I just found it online because I'm trying to get something quick up and running. Let me put my chisel sit away. Chisels. Chisel sit. Anyway, that's off the side now. Anyway, now time for the actual gameplay. But I figured I'd start with that. I was like, I was working on my little print thing. I was like, uh, I don't know if I want to put this on camera. It might be boring. Like, eh, whatever. We'll put it on camera. Share what we do around here. Anyway, apparently there is one more day here. I left off rather quickly the other day because Anna had just gotten back from a final and she wasn't doing too hot. So I figured, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna go out or do something like that so that everyone can feel up and happy with whatever results were occurring and whatnot. Everyone is fine now. Everything is absolutely beautiful now. As, as can we be seen, we had a wonderful anniversary yesterday. It was very, very enjoyable. We last left off in the woods. We found a murder cult and they almost killed us. And I fell into a hole, a deep, dark hole. And apparently, I did my research shortly after. I was like, you know, is there, is there much left to this game afterwards? And the internet was like, no, there's not much left at all. So I figured we might as well get that over with. I'm going to see what everybody's up to today. Uh, B. B, what does B say? Hey, May. Uh, you okay this morning? I'm not um, opening the uh, pickaxe today. Like, um, Greg informs me we're... Doing band practice later though, so uh I'll I'll like I'll see you there. Greg says, Hey man, nice messages last night. Uh I mean like really, you massive dork will <laughs> band practice today. Uh because I feel like we need to do something like normal. I'm at the Snalkin. Hope that you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. 
What about Angus? A away message. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. He never says anything. Angus never says anything, but he's always got an away message that seems to be topical. So let's head on outside. Epilogue, stars. Yep, it's it's the epilogue. And apparently you just kind of roam around town and just kind of pick up... You try to do as many other achievement things as you can, try to get things all squared away um, as best as you can. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. And we'll go play the Time Ranch. You know, we're going to be okay. Hey, Granddad's clock. Hey, Granddad. Oh, that's it? Okay, I thought it was going to be a little more heartfelt than that. Birdie? We're going to eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. Oh, yes, we will. I should, like, reread some of these books. I mean, I got time. And the cozy months are coming. Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That, let's go with that one. Yes, I did decide. I decided what I was going to finally... I was going to finally get this out of the way and then do something else tonight. Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937... Shapes from Beyond the Veil of Space is a towering achievement and marks the start of the weird gothic genre and influence on much of 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature. Shapes is sure to make you question, what is a shape? What is space? What is the veil? And just how far away the night sky is from you and me and your family and your pets and everything that you think is alive, especially up here at this moment cool very inspiring god look at this family photo disgusting it's us it's just us home and us L stare longingly i don't know what this feeling is but i'm not gonna cry today nope not gonna cry today certainly not may honey is that you yeah to me i'm back in the kitchen if you want to talk yes mother i think now is the perfect time to talk i almost died that's the right time to talk to your parents hey sweetie hey mom how are we feeling bop i'm good enough to jump up here my legs don't hurt anymore my ankle may still be sprained a little bit but you know what my spirit is healed at least in part can you do me a favor and stay home tonight Sure. But why? Sure, Mom. Yeah, let's stay home tonight. I. You're an adult, and you can do whatever you want. But you do live here, and you are still my baby. Oh, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules, just because... Honey, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends. I... I... I'm... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? Been a really tough year, Ma. I, I don't even know. I don't even know if I could tell you, but it's been a tough year. I I can tell you. I trust me. I trust your parents. Hun, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but what happened at school, hun? I I don't care what it is. Just please, please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then. Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air! <laughs> yeah. Sure. Perfect. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close? Yeah, Mom. Well, I think we can arrange that. I think they're get, uh, I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Longest night. Oh wow. Calling for some snow too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you too, mom. Tell me more. Are you still reading the same book? Oh no, no. This is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's got some old songs. Want to hear one? Yes. Far from here, the ocean's roaring. Far away, across the din. I hear the Lord, I call their children. Bringing in, bringing in. I'll see you walking 
through the barley, will find each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord a call their children. Bring him in, bring him in. Tarry with me for a moment. Talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven. Bring him in, bring him in. Spiritual. That's nice. It is, it is nice. But what else is nice, aside from your kind soul, Mom? Is it really it? I can, you'll just be humming your song? Are you sure, Mom? Are you sure you don't want to say anything else to me? All right. You've made things clear. That is totally fair. Where did my daddy? Dad's home today. Where's Daddy-o? <gasps> Daddy-o! What's up, Daddy-o? Hey, Dad. No work today? Told Bob to shove it. Really? No. Mm. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Not dad, why? I have mined. I make glass. I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss supposed to respect you. Workers supposed to be able to talk. Workers supposed to be able to have a life. Workers supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and Hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything else you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Uh, unions were always there in the mines and the factory, at least for a while. But here... I got something for you. G got it out of the basement, actually. How'd you get into the basement? Door in the crawl space. Easy mode. Well, that's pretty spooky. So what I got is... A tooth. A what? Do you know what this tooth is? No. R really? Y you sure? Yeah, Granddad must have had it from the old days. May. Thank you. Wow, it looks... Bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You show that to your boss, and tell him to eat shit. May. Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May. Yeah, Dad. You come down and pick it with us if we walk out. I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. <gasps> Achievement unlocked. The tooth. I knew that tooth would be good for something. Apparently, Dad wanted it. Wait, Dad, do you have anything else to say? What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting a neuro start on our longest night lights plan. Gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help you put them up? We'll see. You're a small fry. Dad. dum de dum de dum de dum dum da dum da dum da dum da dum Dad has nothing else to say that's of importance. Except for questioning our beliefs and everything else about work life and whatnot. Oh, Molly, hi, how are you? Hey, what are you doing here? I'm working, May. Sure, you're working. What's wrong? Don't ask. A lot of weird calls this morning. Oh? What kind of calls? Ellipses. Awkward silence in question. You haven't seen... Never mind. Go do whatever it is that you do. Okay, fine. I will. May. What? Spit it out already! The anticipation is killing me. Be careful. Just be careful. Well, geez, until now, I never considered that. Far be it from me 
the mighty Mayborowski, to even consider being careful at any waking moment in this dreary, dreary town of mine where people, um, die and get murdered. No, 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 but being careful was the farthest thing from my thought process. May! Okay, fine, thanks, bye! I see a fellow cow of the audience, and for that, I say hello. I say hello. And that's it. Slight and quick. Slight and quick. Anyway, what's up, Selmers? Hey, May. Sup, Selmers? I need to hydrate. We went for a long walk earlier, like way up the road, like way up north, and then came back down, way down south. Now we're exactly where we started. But, um, hydration is important. Sup, Selmers? You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all... I got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I have pills that make me pee. But the pee comes out a different color. Although it indirectly, it doesn't really make me pee, but when the pee comes out, it comes out very, very yellow. They're vitamin C pills. And it's because of the fact that it, I take in too much vitamin C to the point where my body doesn't know what to do with it, so it just comes out into the urine and it looks like laser lemon colored. It's disgusting, but now you know. Vitamin C. I didn't know that. Neither did I. But now you do. We're all learned together. Used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if I ever have a headache or need to pee... I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. Do you have any more poetry for me? No more poetry? Dude, no more poetry. That doesn't really answer the question, Colleen. That very much does answer the question. The amount of rock salt isn't the problem. We don't have enough damn trucks for this thing. Cars slip sliding all up and down this goddamn hill, Colleen. Half tempted to just close the road when the storm hits. Oh yeah, good. Let's just give up. That's not giving up, Colleen. I'm sick of you undermining me. It's a bad idea. That's not undermining. It's just undermining. I'm on Colleen's side on this one. Well, that's just great. That's just peachy pie now, ain't it? Okay, fine. We'll just close up all the roads. Let's close down the whole damn town, Colleen. Your ideas are always the most important. You think you're so important, Colleen. And the most thought-out plans gotta come from Miss Super Thought-Out Colleen. What the? We gonna do another water balloon toss? I nearly froze to death last time. I still have the sniffles. I think we could all agree. It's too cold for water balloons. Yeah, Kathleen. Too cold for another stupid idea. Go to hell, Colleen. We could just hire some private plows. If you want to go against the DOT union, go right ahead, Colleen. We got agreements with the county and the state. Colleen's right on this one, too. If you two agree so much, why don't we just get married already? The two of you, just get married. Ah! I'd rather die. I'd rather break my own femurs with the cinder block, Colleen. All right, well, that now that's it settled. Um, what are we going to do about the road? Apparently nothing but complain about it. Break for food? Great idea. And I'll talk it over there. I'm starving. See, we can still make decisions. Ha 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 ha! Move out, troops. Off they go. Hey, do you like me to hang on your porch still? Snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. Okay. I believe you. Squirrel? Oh, I fell right off the patio. I was trying to try to go back up to the roof and see if my Mr. Chazikov is up there. I see Mr. Chazikov. He's up on top of his roof. We're gonna go find some constellations, maybe. Proof of something out there. Something that rhymes with proof. Ba -doop -boop. I wonder how many occasions there were to go um, star searching. Because I went to two of them already. And this would be my third one. I wonder if that's all of them. Hello, May. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Got any more dusk stars we can look at? One more. One more dusk star. Blinded by the sun. Where's my dusk star? Where are you? Where are you, dusk star? Do, 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 do. Searching the sky. Searching the sky all night. Finding dusk stars. Where's the vibration of my controllers? Where's the vibration of my controllers? 
Where the hell is the star? Where the hell is the star? Star. Oh, 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 it's, oh, it's over here. Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's right there. It's gotta be right there. Oh, ooh, found it. Let us consult a guide. It's a fire. Asking the fire maker. The fire maker? A wanderer in the cold and the dark. Making a fire and huddling up to it. The light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Hmm. This star makes me want to cry. Crying on my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's, it's fine. It's a good kind of cry. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It's okay. Uh, sometimes too many words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right, Mr. Chanzikov. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. Five Dusk Stars! Did I get them all? So what now? Zupal Moon is coming. What is that? A giant moon! Ooh, that does sound pretty super. You must come to meet me when it happens. It will be late at night. Um, there's only others on the roof. You you come, I'll make the hot chocolate. What a time! That sounds great! I, I want to see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chazikov. See you soon, Stargazer. I did it. I found another star. Erskine. Erskine the... The Wanderer. He's a Wanderer. Yes, he is. Can I, can I get down? Thank you. I did want to get down from there. See who else is happening in the rest of the town. I gotta try to see if I can talk to the kiddos down in the subway. See if I can talk to another person at the table who knew something about my grandfather, apparently. If they, if she's ever down there. Fisher dude. What's up, Fisher dude? When mids are coming, water freeze. Here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not fluid and ruined. It's a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. I will go away from you. I will allow you to poet in peace. Hey, what's up there, old dogo? Ah, uh, hello. Hey, it's May. I remember. Clock upstairs ain't stopped yet. What did you want to tell me about Granddad? Well, I'll only say it if you really want to know. <laughs> yes, I do. Was he a total player? You got a history of troublemakers in your family? On your daddy's side in particular? Oh. Go back far enough, you got folks that were around for the real hard times when the workers went up against the armies. Oh yeah, kind of remember something about that. Great, 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 great grandpa. Or whatever. Might have gotten the number of greats wrong there. Your grandfather and I went around for a lot of violence. That was before even our time. Nah, we were around to watch the tide roll out. The tide of war. As it flooded the coasts. And? We'll need to talk again another time. I get tired. Oh, okay. Can I get you anything? I don't have any money. No, I'm, f I'm just fine, May. We'll talk another time. Okay. See ya. There was probably a time that I missed that then. Previously. Yo, what's up, kiddos? You, uh... Hey, you guys. Yeah. Stay safe, all right? Well, wow, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man. It goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. <laughs> nah, dude. Life life is totally fine. Totally. Totally fine. So then I gotta go back here. Gotta go talk to Hey, what's up there, buddy? Taco Buck now hiring? Oh, you look fun. So you're a taco dude now. I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan, but I guess that means holding the sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There's snow on the sky and falling. How are the tacos here? Good? I like tacos. There's not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. If you don't love tacos... Holla. I like tacos, but you don't have to. 
Bad news, my ex hates tacos. Blasphemy! Good news, they're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. I'm sure it does. Can I actually go into the taco book? I can't. Wow! Our very own taco place! I was just tacoing about it! This is the best thing that's happened to this town since... They got rid of all the snakes in the diner! Yeah, well, we got rid of the snakes in the diner! Who cares about the internet? The owners were religious. And they called in a preacher. From one of the holiness camps up in the hills. And he got in there and yelled at the snakes to leave. The next day after he died, they just set traps. Nobody knows where they came from. Or why they moved in. But they're long gone now. God. Life moves on, huh? Is that is that your conclusion for everything? Oh my god, they delivered! Huh, I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. If there was shit to be had, I will eat it out of the tacos. I'll talk to you, lizard man, in a moment. You look like you're worth talking to. Angus, where are you, my boy? Angus! Angus isn't here. That's so unfortunate. I wanted to talk to my bro, Angus. Anyway, what's up, lizard dude? Well, Valshir is ending. Sure looks that way. Um, I've, uh, never seen you around before. I spend a lot of time indoors, but it's nice to take a break. And I like the cold. It's brisk today. Brisk? Like the soda. Sometimes I stand on the cold with my arms out and let a gust of wind pass over me. Chills me out a bit. Like this? Yeah, just like that. Is it working? Yeah! Nah, I'm still warm. Well, you don't want to get too cold. Just a bit. Then you can go and get a coffee or a hot chocolate or something. The endless cycle of life. It's cozy. The endless cozy cycle of life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold it was getting out here until you mentioned it. It's snowing. I know! I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. <laughs> I'm gonna put my arms down now. That's probably a good idea. The blood all ran out of my arms. Okay. Numb arms. Numb arms indeed. I wonder how B's doing at the old pickaxe. And if I can talk to Billy Goat Man, who is apparently on top of the store. Janitor! Janitor Man! Hey, it's you! Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I can clean up, do fix-its, whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember him? No. I don't know. I, I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. I swear, some mornings, I feel every bit as old as these trees. And some of these trees are old. Have you seen how thick they are? The more rings in a tree, the more old it is. I never cut one open. But that's not something really a janitor does. I fix trees. I don't plant them. You know, something big did happen. And I feel like I should have woken up today. And, like, have learned something. Like a moral to the story. But I don't know if I've learned anything, really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something. And sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what come of it. Huh. Look at that raccoon in the background. He's just waddling around. Well, done it on his day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. <laughs> Laughs fade in the distance as the janitor walks away for the very last time. Wait! How do you know my name? God. Janitor, Mr. Janitor, Lord Janitor, Bob Janitor thought I could get a job as a janitor, janitor and probably really enjoy it. Maybe? Old pickaxe? I cannot go into the old pickaxe? Why can I not go into the old pickaxe? I thought B said she was at the old pickaxe. Was I incorrect about that? I guess not. What are y'all talking about? So I'm going to split part-time. I'm going to split part-time? How do they not have the hours? 
It's a huge store. How do they not have the hours? They got a computer program. It's all hooked up to some kind of mainframe or something. It spits out the optimum schedule for all the employees. Manager can't do much about it. Computer don't play favorites. Yeah, I guess you can't argue with the computer. Nancy give you hell? Did Nancy give you hell? Nah, she did laugh though. I laughed too. We still gonna do that movie? Yeah, let's find a night we're all off. I'm off Tuesdays. I'm off Sundays. Thursday's my only night off. That's unfortunate. We can- Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can all put in requests? Coffee? Cigarettes. Coffee? Cigarettes? Coffee? Cigarettos. That pocket pond. Go to the top of the building. Can't go to the top of the building. I'm gonna go see God. Or at least like, as close as God as I can get. I'm gonna go say hello to the homeless man. I'm gonna say hello to preacher lady. Probably my mom. My mom's probably in there. My in-game mom, of course. I've said hello to my mom today. Hello, mom. Where the preacher lady at? Where the preacher lady at? Are you in here? Preacher lady in here? Love and the peace and the joy and there's nobody here. Hmm. A likely story. Nobody home in the house of God. Nobody's here. Nobody's here at all. I was never able to get in this library over here. I guess I never got the prereqs necessary. I guess I needed to talk to... Maybe I didn't actually realize that my mother in-game was in this location until a little bit late. Actually, well, I started coming here after the church opened, so I did kind of know, but also kind of not. Interesting. Oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. There we go. Well, 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 Anyway, I want to get to the top of one of these buildings again because I want to say hello to my friend who lives on top of the building. Maybe not on top. They don't live on top of the building. They do not live on top of the building, but there are people who reside in the uppermost portions. There's somebody who plays at the very, very top over here. I want to. Yo, look at you, person. What's up with you? Hey, y you okay? Hey. I heard you, um, uh, in the hospital, something. <laughs> yeah, I was in the hospital. What for? Fell into a ravine while running through the woods at night. Why? Um, chased by a death of cult or of conservative uncles. All right, you, you don't have to tell me. But it, but it just did. You, um, uh, you want to hang on sometime? Isn't that what we're doing? I mean, like, we could, we could watch horror movies. You could, you could meet my sister. Um, she's like, almost your age. What's her name? Probably know her from school. I don't think I know her. I might know her from school, though. What's her name? Stevie Myers, but you don't know her. She beat up someone and had to go to a different school. Oh, cool. We might get along. See, I also beat up somebody and then continued going to the same school. <laughs> probably. She's mean sometimes, but she's cool. Sounds good. I gotta get going. It's been a weird past couple of days. It's good. I guess weird's just what happens. See you around. Later, kid. Later, killer. Killer. That's what they call me. No, I didn't want to fall. It's okay. Everything is okay now. 1901. I don't think I've ever been up to the top of these towers. Uh, come to think of it. Maybe? Anybody in there? Anybody in there? Oh, did I just get inside? Uh, oh? Oh? Is there... Oh, maybe if I came back here before... Oh, I'm opening the window. Am I breaking inside? I'm going in the building. I've never been in here before. Oh. This is new. What's this? Wow, so this is where this stuff ends up. I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. Until the year that Mallard P. Bloomingrow snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. Then they canceled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. Is there more to, more to observe? After the parade got canned, there wasn't much going on in the spring. But we still did the Easter basket blessing at church. And ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those. Profane pretzels. Profane pretzels. Oh my god, these flowers are fake as hell! Mallard deserves a better memorial. Plastic flowers are, like, super depressing for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. What's going to happen to all this? I guess it's just...
gonna sit here till someone gets around to throwing it all out? I should, like, steal the good stuff. See what Mom and Dad think. I'm sure they'll love it. Redecorate the living room. So can I can I steal it? Can can I steal? May I steal some more boxes? Nope, cannot steal more boxes. What's up here? There's an exit. There's another room. Hello. Whoa. Okay. Oh my God. Mallard. What have they done to you? <laughs> my God. Mallard P. Bloomingro. One of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the spring parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. Mallard. Dear dead Mallard, you were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still amazing forever. Oh, Mallard. Probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten! But I found you. And I know you're here. And still a springtime terror. I'll keep you a secret, Mallard. But I'll visit. Bye, Mallard. Maybe. I want to steal something inside. What's inside, Mallard? Mallard! You're pregnant, my goodness! It's one of those God things. Like when you have a baby because... God? Holy crap! You are the cutest vermin. Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're, um, not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die! Um, I don't have food. Can I touch you? Okay. Touch, 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 touch. Touch, touch, touch the rats. Touch the rats. Touch the rats. They are... They gyrate when I poke them. That's unfortunate. Do I have any food on me? Miracle rats. Do I perhaps have food on me? Did I collect any food? Uh, did I come back with food, maybe? No? I may have picked up food along the way. I guess not. Maybe I could grab it at the taco place. Maybe. Exit. It's locked. What the hell? That is a fire hazard. No, seriously. Is this thing... This, this thing is clearly marked as something it is not. I'm coming back for you, exit door. And we're going to have a little chat with my boot. Worst exit. Seriously. I'm going to come back for you. Maybe? I don't know. If I can get food at the taco place, that'd be pretty darn awesome. So I can... I didn't realize I can go through that window. I love breaking and entering. What a concept. Going into one place specifically because you're not supposed to be there. Bouncing on around, bouncing on around, going on the tavern, I'm gonna get arrested. Probably not arrested, but anyone can hope. So we'll jump one, two, three times up on here to say hello to this cat! To make me consider the dichotomy of my existence. Can I get up there? I was able to get up there. Hello, kitty cat. Won't be able to climb this soon. Once it gets icy. Enjoy it while the weather lasts, May. Enjoy it while the weather lasts. Roof Cat is correct. Oh, that's what Roof Cat was saying. I'm on top of the telephone pole. Now I'm gonna jump down and probably not hurt myself because it's a video game. Bounce on the wires because it's a video game. And I'm a cat, but who cares about that? We're all just cats anyway. We're all just cats anyway. All we are is cats in the wind. So can I get food for the taco book? Maybe? Food? No. No food for the taco book. Oh, can I still talk to you? What else is there to say? Taco book! Dine in, dine out! We deliver! Please tip your delivery persons. That's tacos in all this general region, pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place. Why not try pizza taco? Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try out all lettuce taco! No, I refuse. Get out of here, kid, I'm working! I believe you. I believe that you are indeed working. Hardly so, or fully so. Do you miss your pal? Your pal's not here anymore. <sighs> Who are you? Haven't you seen me around? Nah. Well, I've noticed you. That's not weird or anything. Bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's gotta stand here. Hey, you a Smelters fan? Um... Yeah! Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, smelters. Go, go smelters. Go smelters? Go smelters! Go smelters! Go smelters, my friend. 
I believe that's the local team of sports team. I believe that's the local sports team in this jurisdiction. I'm, I'm guessing they play football. If I had to guess, because what other sport would they be playing? Maybe football. Or soccer. Or or both. Some some other sport with the foot. Maybe baseball, but they're kicking around baseballs with their foot. Hey, pal. What's going on? What's in the news? Gonna be a cold winter. Worse than years. How can they predict that? Eh, future's all guesswork. Ha! 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 So it's not... It's not like... It's not... It's not real. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get up there. I gotta go... Wasn't I able to go inside of this building? I thought I was able to go inside here. No, I wasn't able to... I thought I'd be able to go to the top. Unfortunate. That's okay. I'll go say, say hello to Greg. I'm gonna go say hello to Greg. But first, I'm gonna check out over here. I can't get up there. That's where my jazz person is. Can I go to the restaurant? No, probably not. Goodbye, odd cat. Go on, go on, little... Get along, little doggy. If I go this way far enough, will I find Germ or something? Germ! Germ, you over here, pal? Anybody? Over here? Playing on their bike or some other hoodlum teenager? Anybody? Any other hoodlum teens? I'm not gonna go outside town or anything like that. Can I jump the fence? No, I'm not gonna do it. I won't do it. Well, it seems like I had talked to everyone from what I can tell. So, I'm cool with that. So, I'm gonna go talk to Greg, because I can't find Angus, I can't find B. Germ wasn't in his usual spot, at least that's the last time I think, that's the last place I found him. So, well, to the Snack Falcon, for band practice, to talk to Greg. What's up, Greg? Well, look who's alive and well! Is that a surprise? Nah, just seems like, relevant. Well, look who's alive, who's live, and well, you too. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna get out of here? Do band practice? Yes. I believe it is indeed band practice time. Okay. But where is everybody? God, this door, like, just does not like to open. I bet it's worse in the summer. So did you all get keys to the back door? Greg got one and we uh, made copies. How do you even get a key? I have no idea. Like, whatever, dude. Where's Greg? Oh, yeah, he had to uh, spring Angus from work. Like, what does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs. Since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's like a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg? More so than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because like it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. Greg's a nice person? Do you not think they'll last or something? I mean like they're high school sweethearts. Once they move and change, and meet new people, and become new people, I think, like, Angus is gonna find he's got more options. Angus thinks Greg, like, saved him. Listen, I'm, I'm not, like, saying he didn't, if he thinks so. Angus might also just be attracted to really severe, sincere guys in leather jackets who carry knives. I mean, if I met the right guy, those would all be pluses. Jeez, you've really thought this out, haven't you? Before you came back. They were, like, the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. Nice. Good for you, B. So, like, how are you? I don't even know, dude. I'm still processing, really. I'm here, though. Yeah. You? Um, not great. Had a dream the world was ending? Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. Very good feeling that the world's ending. So, like, I'm a little confused about what even happened on this last night. Well, there's apparently a death cold of dads. Or was. Who knows if that was all of them. I can't believe, like, they even existed. 
or yeah existed probably take them a few days to die ellipses yup i don't know i kind of understand them in a weird way really it's like a porch light that's on and there are all these bugs around it and then the light goes out and there's a hole where the light was it's like what happened to me way back like i was telling you about on the couch last night holy crap that was last night it seems like two lifetimes ago and for me it felt like it was earlier this week <laughs> yeah the world is extremely bad yeah yes it is weird question how do you like get up every day and go open the store and keep doing it i like i really don't have a choice do i I mean, you definitely do have a choice. But, like, you don't give yourself enough credit. You keep all this running because you care. I guess. Caring doesn't always seem to be voluntary. Caring can be really terrifying. I feel like it's always there, right out of sight. Following me. I, I can't not give a shit. I mean, I, I do the store. And, like, our bills at home. Stuff with the Chamber of Commerce, and I'm doing free study courses online, and, like, I'm a member of the Young Socialists. I sleep a lot. Sometimes eat pizza. To each according to their ability. Well, on the bright side, you got me. <laughs> yeah. We can fix the world together. Yep. Fix it right up. We fix that furnace. I... Fix that furnace? Well, I fixed us getting trapped in the basement. You sure did, May. You sure did. <laughs> Guess last night wasn't so weird. It was pretty weird. Old men killing the youngs and the poors to get back some past that, like, barely existed. Same old, same old. They're like ghosts in some old mansion. Killing the new owners. Makes you want to either give up or, like, Try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah, like, naps fix everything. Or, like, drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. Yeah. Awkward silence. So, how good is your car? Good how? Like, can it drive real far? Mate, do you know anything about... It? What? What? We should, like, do a road trip. To where? Out west! It gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat. And they sell barbecue. And you can see, like, the world's largest pierogi. Or a museum of toy rocket ships. Or a factory where they make pretzels. Or a house that looks like a big chicken. I could... Oh, okay, let's, like, talk about this next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought... You couldn't leave the home because of your issue? Hey, you're... You're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there. Together. I mean, if we're not to bed by then, then... <laughs> LOL. You have a way of making Doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. That is, like, actually kind of a gift. Looks to the side. God damn this door! I think... God already has. There they are. Angus. Hey, guys. What's up, nerds? Psh, it's you who are the nerds. What? Jeez, I've never been so insulted. Take it right back, dork. Fat chance. Hey, Greg, so... I didn't really, like, know Casey. Ellipses? Yeah. I just wanted to say, like, I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? Probably? No. Tell his parents about a murder cult? I mean, tell them what? Uh, 
Yeah, like, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Hmm, good point. So, like, what do we want to do? About Casey? No, like, in general. We can play band practice. We can make a new song. Can we think about this tomorrow? Can, can we just play a song and get pizza? I don't think, like, song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for, like, one day? I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. When I was in that coma or whatever, when I was down there last night, when I was in that coma or whatever, I saw the future. Or maybe it's now the future. Or was the future like flying cars and shit. Actually, those would be a disaster. <laughs> Finally, you admit it. You owe me five bucks. That's a bet. No, it was like the town was abandoned. Like being eaten and reclaimed by nature or some shit. I went to where my house used to be. When I was there, I felt completely hopeless. But now I think I could just build another house. Or I could just move on. Knowing when to hold on and when to let go. Okay, I lost my entire train of thought. I had it for a second, though. And then it was gone. Song and uh, pizza sounds good, May. Song and pizza. Yeah. Good enough. That sounds like a plan for the night. For the, for the day. For the night. Song time. Uh, credits roll. Created by Alec Halaka, Bethany Hawkenberry, and Scott Benson. Co-writing, research, and whatnot. That was Night in the Woods. Do I get, like, an actual, like, song thing? Do I get to do that? Maybe? Nah, I think we're just sticking it with this. Oh, that was lovely. Closing thoughts on this game. I liked it. I originally played this because I had heard a single song by, I'm pretty sure it was The Living Tombstone on Spotify. And this was during a time I was previously working, uh, actually my, my school does like a co-op thing. So where you go work at a place for like six months. And this was at my second co-op, which was right in Center City. And I don't know, something really got to me there as did at the first co-op, just sitting at a desk, just kind of, feeling a little lonely despite being around your co-workers and kind of thinking about how I wish I could be with like my family all the time, wish I could be with my like at the time girlfriend and all my friends and stuff. And I don't know, I would kind of use the music that I'd find on the Spotify random playlist to just kind of get me out of that world of all the work that I was doing. And don't get me wrong, that was not just restricted to those co-op events. That's like during school and whatnot too, because you know, when you're just sitting there at your desk and you got all this stuff to do, the music at least is a way, it's, I wouldn't say it's like, I wouldn't say escape is the right word to use because i don't know escape almost seems like you you don't want to be there for any reason you just want to be anywhere else and i i did want to be there in a way i do want to i did want to do my schoolwork in a way but it was nice to be able to kind of tune out the work that i was doing and have a baseline that wasn't just my thoughts the baseline would be like some music that was going on in the background or whatever lyrics were being held anyway one of the songs that popped up among many many other like um game inspired musics was the, the the weird autumn song by i think it was the living tombstone um from that references this game here and what most interested me about it was not only the sound i really like the sound of the music but also the album cover that i saw featured these characters drawn in such a way that i had never seen before i was like this is a really cool art style that they've got going on here and i immediately like went on to steam was like i gotta i gotta like add this to my wish list and i think a while later Eventually it went on sale, you know, I nagged it, uh, nabbed it, and thought, you know what? Should totally play this. And I did. And it was a lot more story driven than I thought. Hey, look, it's Circle. Circle by this is the OS, the operating system. That was nice. That was absolutely pleasant. I'm, I'm not used to like very story driven games like that. Heavy on the narration as well. But it was very, very enjoyable. I've always liked being able to do things like this because it feels like I'm almost giving my voice like a little bit of a jump start, a little bit of an exercise. Like everything, I feel like every part of your body, everything that you do, everything that you practice and skill-wise is all like a muscle that you can like, like work out every once in a while. And this along with literally everything else we do on this show and channel here is like working out, working out those voice vocal cords muscles. And that was something I feel like I hadn't done in recent years because I would always be like kind of focused on my work, just kind of talking to nobody, not being super social. But this is this is nice. And I like that. And R.I.P. Casey and be smoking on the car while May's up on top and lovely, lovely things. So, yeah, what a lovely, lovely game.
I very much enjoyed that. Closing thoughts were very, very nice. And this is apparently the weird autumn edition on Steam. I did not realize that. I've noticed that a couple of times. Anyway, that was Night in the Woods, everybody. Thanks for joining me for that. It was a little short to kind of end things out, but that was the end of everything. I'd say it was very much rather enjoyable. I really like doing stuff like this, so I am definitely going to do more stuff like this in the future, eventually. Maybe not, of course, not all the time. I gotta give my voice a, a rest for things like this because it's a lot of up and down in the back of the throat and things all over the place and your voice doing really weird things and stuff like that. And I have fun with it. So that's not really that's not really an issue. So what I'm going to do for the rest of the stream is I'm going to switch on to Slime Ranch or something else that is just going to ease my way into the dust of the night. But this is where I'm going to cut the video. I've been doing video editing now. It's something that I've never done in the past, but I finally got a program to do with it because the standard Windows stuff is just eh, absolute shit. So I'm going to end things for Night in the Woods here. Thanks, everybody, for sticking around for Night in the Woods. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night day, evening, twilight. I really need to put a post-it note over here so I can remember every single different type of time of the day that I can address that just hit all those points because I don't know what time zone you're in. And I just want to make sure that you know they have a wonderful rest of your whatever. So in that case, peace out, y'all. And love y'all. Until the next game. Which the next game will be Slime Ranger if you're tuning in for the next one. But if not, that's okay. I'm going to cut to break here. And that's what I'm going to do for the stream side. But peace out all until next time. Love y'all.